Hi folks, I hope everybody's doing good. I'm going to do a real quick video on this knife. Uh, this is the one I picked out for today's Sunday carry. As you can see, it's got a beautiful mother of pearl handle, a nice um, sleek uh, spear point without a lot of big uh, billboarding. It's got a pretty sweet little, just a Shat Morgan Etch, the S&M. And, of course, you got the S&M stamp on the bolster. This was made in 2010. Um, I don't think... It doesn't show how many. Usually it says like one out of 600. I'm not sure the production number on this. Maybe it's on the other side of the blade. I don't think so, though, because I've carried this quite a few times. But anyway, as you can see, it's... A slimline um, knife and let's see let's take a look at the handle size what do we got there almost three and three quarters and the blade size is it's actually a three inch from tip to uh, bolster but a about a two and three quarter inch cutting edge so let's see if we can kind of get some different angles on it make that mother of pearl shine a little bit I've also dropped this a couple times so you'll see the end caps are pretty scuffed up um, I, I don't care that the, <coughs> excuse me, I don't care that the end caps got scuff, scuffed up as long as the mother pearl didn't break. Let's see if you can see that. I did kind of polish it out a little bit. There's that, uh, Shat Morgan Hatch. And it kind of looks best right about there. Let's check out the pile side really fast. See if I can get this video under eight minutes. So I got a very busy day on this Sunday. Now, of course, when you carry something like that, you can, uh, doesn't mean I only carry one knife. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a tickle in my throat here. Okay, try and get a good angle here with the lighting where it's not too bright. But maybe uh, the pearl, that's, this ain't doing justice to the pearl on this side. Let's take it out and put it in the hand here. <coughs> that looks a little better like that, huh? There's no half stop. High polish blade. It is a little hazy on this side. That's one of the flaws. Um, there's the pattern number 051297, I think it says. Made in 2010. As you can see, it's got a little bit of use on it. Yeah, that's a better, better view of the uh, pearl. And you'll see these end caps are busted up pretty good. In fact, you're going to see a big gap from when I dropped it. Both times it hit square on this end to kind of split it open. But I'm glad that it kind of separated there than having the pearl break or crack. 
still just a gorgeous knife to carry very slim line pretty good job of centering I didn't have to do any repair to this Good snap. There's no blade wobble at all, which is <clears throat> really good on one of these. Um, I mean, it's good to have on on a slimmer knife. Sometimes it doesn't feel real solid and secure, but I got no problem really digging into something with this. And of course it's slim. Let's see. Um, let's put a Barlow out there. Since we still got the uh, the old Sheffield Barlow. You'll see how narrow it is. A lot thinner. But the handle's a wee bit longer. Thing is, I don't have my, uh, oh, here it is. When you carry it in a case, it just slides right out. So I just pocket drop it now. Because that's how I actually dropped it was I pulled it pulled the case out of my pocket and it was upside down and it just slid right out. But it's a nice little Sunday carry. I'll be carrying that and of course my ZT. And I don't know. I don't know what for number three yet, but I'll figure something out. So, my friends, until next time, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.